The next time you were asked to list things you could find both in the kitchen and the sea, we might have the perfect argument for you if you ever decide to add sunny-side-up eggs to your list. Here is a rundown of the jellyfish, referred to as the fried egg jellyfish. The fried egg jellyfish are also known as the egg yolk jellyfish, and they get their edible name from their appearance. The top of the jellyfish is composed of white tissues that surround a round and usually yellow center, resembling a perfectly broken egg. The bottom part is composed of clusters of tentacles that they use for feeding and other symbiotic relationships. The fried egg jellyfish is of two different species. The first species are small, with their biggest ones having a diameter of just one foot. They have small, thick, and colorful tentacles that possess oral arms, which they use to feed on small prey like phytoplankton. The blue or purple colors around their tentacles are due to the presence of the algae zooxanthellae, with whom they share a symbiotic relationship. These species are more seasonal and have an affinity for warm waters like the Mediterranean Sea. They have a life cycle of about six months, usually from summer to winter. The second species are much bigger and have very long tentacles, which they use to draw in and feed on plankton and other jellyfish. They live much longer and can be found in different regions worldwide. The fried egg jellyfish generally have limited motion and are usually carried by the current of the tides. They, however, can swim by propelling their top bell. Their bottom tentacles have a sting mechanism, but this is generally harmless. In fact, tiny organisms of the sea, like larval crabs, hitch a ride on this jellyfish most of the time. Like all jellyfishes, they possess no fins or gills, and generally carries out respiration through diffused oxygen in the water. They start up as polyp forms attached to the ground, and when they've grown to their full form, they detach into the open water. At this stage, they reproduce sexually, where they mate with another jellyfish and release their eggs around winter to begin the cycle all over again. As regards to eating them, I suggest we leave these eggs in the sea. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please like and subscribe for more content in the future.